welcome to my channel. Well, uh, I got another Sofern SC21 Pro because I thought this one was broke. Um, it was acting like it was in what they call muggle mode. And muggle mode is you, you give the flashlight to somebody that, uh, like a kid or something. You don't want them burning. You don't want them having a bunch of other things. You just want them to have a basic flashlight. So it really nerfs the flashlight out. It takes away a lot of the features. And one of the features it takes away is all the blinkies and strobes. So I figured... You know, the reason why I'm not getting the blinkies and the strobes and everything is because I'm in muggle mode. And if you look, I mean, this is the manual that comes with it and everything. If you look, it tells you to get a muggle mode, you do six clicks from off. And to switch it back in, you do six clicks. Well, that's if you have Andural 1. This light has Andural 2. How do you tell the difference? What? Well, the way I figured it out, uh, I didn't. I basically went into Amazon, and I looked at the comments, and I found an excellent comment from somebody in there that said, how to tell if, you're, if your flashlight is Andrew 1 or Andrew 2. So, the way to do that is, from non-lockout mode, it's in non-lockout, put it in lockout, which is four clicks. One, two, three, four. All right? It's in lockout. Uh, take it out of lockout, do three clicks, and you're going to get battery check. So that was 4.0, that little flash. You see how it's repeating it? It keeps repeating it. Before, it would only do this. It would only do it once. I'll put up the instructions the, the guy told how to do it. I followed his instructions and I got it out of muggle mode. And how do you get it out of muggle mode when you're when you're in Andrew 2? It's not six clicks. It's ten clicks and hold. Ten clicks and hold. It's a big difference. You're never going to figure it out using this thing if, if you somehow got... It was either shipped in muggle mode, which I think it was, or I somehow... I didn't, I didn't do ten clicks and hold. So... I think it was shipped in muggle mode. And so now I have two of them that are fully working. Because now, you see how this is like strobing and everything? Before I couldn't change that that side light feature. Let me turn the light off. To change it, you do seven clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's off. It wouldn't do that. It wouldn't do that before. You couldn't do any of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's in low mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's in high mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's in pulse mode. <clears throat> and I've got I've got strobes now. One, two, three, you hold down. Double click. You can go through all the different modes. This is lightning. Uh, this is candle. This is bike mode, where it pulses while it helps you know you being seen. Another strobe, another strobe, and lightning again. All right. So that that's from your battery check from off and the blink is to go to uh, no that's from. Click, click, hold. Now, all this looks super complicated and everything, but after using your light for a little while, it's not too, it's not hard at all. It's not that difficult. Also, when you put it in lockout, now when you hold it down, you're going to get a low high. If you double click, let me see. There's a way of, there's a, there's a low, a moonlight, and then a, a high, well, let's see, a moonlight and a low from off. So that's pretty handy where you just want to just quickly check something, turn it on, you know, you release it and it's off. If it's not enough light, you double click, and you're still off. Four clicks, and you're on, and you're back into your regular full mode. So I just wanted to put that out there for anyone who 
you know, it seems like they're not their light is not working and you can't get strobes and everything else. Um, just follow that to check to see whether or not you're uh, whether you have Andrew one or Andrew two with these flashlights, because like I said, this everything else seems to be all right, but the the Muggle mode is not correct on this particular chart for this flashlight, and it can make you think you have a defective flashlight because. One of the reasons I got this is for the features. You don't have to use all the features, but it's nice that they're there. If they're not there and you've got it, you're like, what the heck, you know? Did I get a defective one? How come they didn't give me all these other things? Maybe I, maybe you don't want this. Maybe you don't. I like Beacon. Beacon is used uh, in the military a lot of times. There's a, just a strobe. It's not, a, it's not flashing a lot. It's like once a second or something, you know? It's very bright, and it'll help you be found, and it doesn't suck up the batteries like a strobe or anything else would. Uh, I also changed the uh, the thermal configuration of it. I, I switched my uh, temperature gauge to Celsius, because that's what it reads out in, and it flashed that it was 21 degrees Celsius, and I was checking the outside temperature and also the temperature on a flashlight, and it was reading 23 so I configured it to 23, and now it seems to be reading the room temperature accurately. What does this matter for? Because temperature regulation goes, uh, you can also set the temperature regulation limit, and a lot of times they're set, this is above 30 degrees Celsius, so click the number of times above 30 degrees Celsius you want your upper limit on your flashlight. I believe they're shipped at like 45 degrees Celsius. And most people that are kind of like tricking them out, want to get higher looms and everything, go up to like 50. Anyway, <clears throat> I just thought I'd throw that one in there for you. Anybody that has a, a problem with their Sofern SC21 Pro and it's not doing everything, you're probably in muggle mode. And you probably didn't do that yourself. It probably came shipped that way, or maybe you did it by accident. But anyways, there you go. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.